Hi everyone, in today's video, I will show you how we can create this effect. Um, this is a prefetched mesh from Houdini and I'm controlling these pieces in Niagara. This is a very interesting method which I recently found out and hopefully you will like it too. So I'll just jump into Houdini. Just this. I created a mesh here which is I just fetched it out and exported it as an FBX. The main thing to keep in mind is to turn this build hierarchy from path attribute because we want to import all these individual pieces as a separate element in Unreal. We can create all these as a separate, but if you do this and import in Unreal, it will already be separated. I'll just show you this. To import that mesh, it will come something like this. And all the individual pieces will have their transform already set up before. Like this. I'll show you another mesh. And I just created two materials for inside and outside and okay. So for outside material just this and inside just this. In the Niagara system, what I am doing is using mesh renders and assigning all the meshes here as the nine elements. See, all these other elements are here. What I'm doing is just turning their lifetime off not of actually it's I'm doing it if particle won't die and they have an infinite life. And I'm setting the loop count as nine and every time the loop will start at after 0 0.12 second and their lifetime is one. So what happens is we have nine meshes like from start from zero and then we can set the renderer error visibility to none. By default, it is if we set the direct set and just turn this off, you can see now only the first mesh will come, the zero array, because we have set the array to be a particular thing. Only one second. And I am giving spawn burst instantaneous, which means every loop it will spawn one mesh which is here so which mesh it will spawn it depends on the mesh render index so i can put three and every loop it will start with three and i'm giving a shape location which starts from 200 and then just drop to zero so every time the shape will start from something big and just comes here every time means every loop i'm just keeping the mesh size and just giving a little drag to the whole thing. I don't think so this should work also, but, but just keeping it there. So what we can do that every time, every loop, a different mesh should come. Different mesh as in when the first loop, the zero will come. On the on the first loop, which counts as a zero, the zero mesh will come. And then the first in the first loop, the index one will come. In the second loop, the index two will come. So we'll just give the mesh render index as a loop count. Loop count. So every loop, the first mesh will come. So I have set the loop to nine, which means we have nine array. So all the nine meshes will come like this. And now we can add up on all these things, create many more variation of these things. I'm just scaling the mesh size. Yeah. And it should look something like this. And now we can do more effects with it using another emitter as a smoke 
emitter and then using these locations of elements and giving a trail kind of smoke to these things. Uh, if you don't want to use the shape, shape location, you can give a particular position from there. There, all the meshes will come from one side or anything like that. Let me know if you want me to show you more things in this, like how to prepare the mesh in Putney or how to do this in detail. Thank you.